I've been wanting to take out the large dinette table and find a drop leaf table. And I found a drop leaf table. Okay, I have been working hard today and I'm really proud of what I did and I've been wanting to take out the large dinette table and find a drop leaf table and I found a drop leaf table. I didn't know how it was going to come out so I didn't take video during the progression but It was a veneer, there were some chipped pieces off, so I sanded it down, painted the top blue, it has a nice drawer that I put placemats and coasters in, because I did chalk paint it, and even though I polyed the top mat, I don't want to get stains on it, so I'm keeping placemats and um, coasters in the drawer. And what I did was, I made the back part of the booth a permanent twin bed for me so let me show you what I did there's the table as cute as can be with a little drawer there's my coasters and my placemats here's two so I guess most of the time I'll have it covered like that cutesy tootsy and I don't want to keep anything on it because I just I just did it and these fold down and I'll fold them right down right now the table actually has these hinges are made of wood these hinges are wood which is beyond cool to me and I know you can't you shouldn't paint antique furniture blah 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 and I, I fought with myself with it, but there was some water damage. There was veneer that needed repair that I can't repair. And I wasn't going to resell it. It's for me, for my camper, and this is what I wanted. So this is what it looks like with the leaves down. Let me flip the camera. And then let me shuffle it over. <laughs> This art box is held up there with carpet tape on this ledge. It goes all the way around. So I have double sided extra strength carpet tape. So the cushion that was back there is now here. So I'm gonna fill that with pretty pillows. Under here, I have plywood that I cut. I got the four by four plywood at Home Depot. I cut it down to 36, I'm sorry, 35 long and had 13 cut, 13 cut, and then the final piece is, let me measure it. I'll put the measurements in the description. The other piece is, where did I hide the other piece? There it is, it's smaller. I have to figure out how to take this off. I don't have a chisel and I did get a butter knife in there, but it, it might be glued. I didn't see any screws anywhere. Okay, so this piece did end up just coming out, prying it with a knife. It was nailed in. I don't know how. Oh, this, okay. So this is tape over the nail holes. <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, MDF. So they nailed the MDF in and I was able to just pry it up with a knife. 
I just didn't want to force it because I didn't know if there was glue or whatever. So that came off and now I could fit my boards in. So this is how the bed is as I keep it full time. I think I'm going to keep the triangle pillows in the corner. Um, although they might bother me with my feet room, I'm not sure. I'll see how that goes. But that's about it. So this way I'm going to keep this like a day bed all the time. So now I don't have to crawl in and out of the bunks. But I can also put my legs straight out and sit at the table. So that's what I did. So now I have like a U-shaped day bed with a, a little two-person table in front of it. And I love it. So now I can like... I can have three different size beds now and it looks cuter and I don't have to change it if I want to sleep on the twin bed and I don't have to crawl into the bunk anymore. I'm so happy I did this. <laughs>